Hi, I'm Rosie. Have you ever thought about how much waste you produce in a day? Have you ever thought about how much waste do you produce in a day? The average person produces about 1.5 tonnes of solid waste each day. As a human, every single one of us has been adding to global pollution in different ways. So, what can we do to help? One simple, easy way to do it is recycling. Recycling is a critical practice to make our planet clean and free of waste. Recycling refers to when we take the raw materials or scraps or waste materials and turn them into a new, usable object. You can start by simply putting a milk carton in the recycling, then moving on to beach cleans and many more. Here's 10 things you can recycle in school. The tape from the playground, broken rulers, writing pens that don't work, broken pencils, green pens that don't work, broken whiteboard pens, broken whiteboards, broken play equipment, dry glue sticks, and broken pencil sharpeners. So if we implement fines and taxes, we can create consequences for those who pollute our planet. We can make this issue seen. Global warming is not a hoax. We need to act now. Hi, my name is Aurora and litter pollution is the problem. Uh... Having greener spaces in cities. In London, 400,000 children are living in areas with toxic air. As cities like this grow bigger every day, it's important to produce greener areas to prevent issues such as toxic air. This can be solved by... We can solve this worldwide issue by simply adding small gardens around cities to provide untoxinated air to children and adults. Implementing fines and taxes for those not following the rules. Littering ruins our planet by blocking streams and rivers, causing floods which, which destroy buildings and homes. Litter doesn't only cause floods, but also kills animals such as birds and sea life, which think it's foods, hence destroying their digestive system when they try to eat it. This can be solved by having fines and taxes would help the situation a lot, as people won't want to have to pay for something which is easy to achieve in everyday life. Having prettier bins and waste disposal more readily available in public places. Public waste bins are filling up faster than ever due to not enough bins in public places. This is terrible for the planet as this means more garbage thrown on the floor because of overflowing bins. This can be solved by having more bins in crowded places would be essential to stop overflowing bins. Also, pretty and better sanitised waste disposals would encourage for people to use it without the fear of germs. Hi, I'm Austin and we need greener spaces where people live. The company Suez has rehabilitated two landfill sites in Cornwall. Conan and United landfill sites have been closed and returned to green space. Suez as a company specialising in recycling and energy recovery have created a national drive towards sustainability. At many of their sites in Cornwall, the workers have created well-being areas using only recycled materials and waste collected from their sites. Some workers have created bird tables from recycled wood and a, bu and a bug hotel from items that would have been thrown away. <laughs> Renew, reuse, recycle. Global warming is not a hoax. We need to act now. I don't believe this, but 24% of waste is sent into landfill. Our final chance. The rise of the waves, the heat of the sun, the suffering of animals, climate change has begun. As greenhouse gases trap the sun's heat, our voices speak louder, refusing its seat. Action roars loud as the sky rumbles. Our protest calls a crowd, no one being humble. Stopping fossil fuels, fossil fuels and plastic, decomposing the enemy. Manufacturing goods to the fantastic as plastic decomposes and we seize our destiny. This is our final chance and final speech on the change. This is the first time we sell free range and the last time we pollute the sea and beach. This is our moment we help and stop the coral bleach. This is our second we demand for, our final chance indeed. Our final chance indeed. Molly Ann and we need more recycling bins.
have more bins in our local area. They should be colourful and appealing to encourage them to be used. People just leave their rubbish around in our green, green areas for children to play around with. I don't want to, be, to play with or, or around rubbish, do you? If we have more bins around, I know my friends and I would encourage more people to use them. To start with, bins could be made with recycling material. To begin, the, uh, the use of recycling. If companies take response to start recycling, other people will copy the process. Hello, my name is Tio. Today I'll be talking about littering. Stop littering. I think we need to lower the rate of plastic products as as people getting plastic products from takeaways tend to litter them. We also need to make people aware of what littering does to the planet as they don't always realise they're damaging the planet. Big factories are pumping smoke into the air and that makes breathing a lot harder. I think we should make fa factories more eco-friendly. We need to stop ruining this planet now before it's too late. Think global, act local. Hello, my name is Freya and my poem is called Call to Action. People litter all over the place, covering up every little space. Because they are too lazy and I think that's crazy. So let's educate them on our environment and let's hope they don't get violent. Because we need to stand up and talk on top of a block about how littering goes into the sea and how it can harm you and me. All your rubbish floods streets like rivers, which gives everyone the shivers on how our world will turn out like, and I'm getting a bit warlike. So do regular little pi litter picks, and that hopefully help to fix. A world as well as throwing rubbish in the bins as your eco-friendly future begins. Recycle whenever you can. Look, you have already started a plan. Keep going, you can't stop now. Look how far you have come. Wow. Now remember what I've taught you today, and remember the phrase, think global, at local, on your way. Children make up 10% of the world's population. Over 40% of burden disease falls on them. Hello, my name is Ethan and this is my poem about greener spaces. No more cutting down trees. We all need deforestation to freeze. We need the wildlife to survive for us humans to thrive. More sustainable materials are needed. This warning is to be heeded. Our need for more green is not a hoax. We need to act fast, otherwise we will be choked. Warning into consideration to end this horrible devastation. My name is Stephanie and we need to find people who litter. Fines and taxes. Some issues are around my topic I have chosen is people just dropping litter and thinking it's okay. Not putting plastic into the right bag when recycling and another one is people throwing stuff out of their car's window. Some reasons why more changes haven't happened yet is due to big chain, big chain restaurants. The reason is because people visit the, there a lot as they are popular and some people can't be bothered to put the rubbish in the bin so they throw it outside the restaurants. I think they should re do a reward system for recycling and be able to get stuff for free. Like when you buy a certain amount of drinks at McDonald's, you get stamps. They should do that for recycling instead. And if you still litter, the government should put CTV cameras around restaurants. And if, you ca if they catch you, you'll fi they will fine you. And if you keep doing it, the fine gets higher each time. Did you know, on average, almost a third of urban areas in Great Britain consist of natural land and green space? Hello, my name is Sylvie and we need to make urban spaces green. 
There are over 62,000 urban green space sites in Great Britain adapted for special functions such as public gardens and parks. What can we do to help? We can contact government and tell them to make more green spaces by stopping house building as there are lo lots of houses that are already empty. They could donate money to parks and public gardens and even put up security cameras in parks so if you see someone disrespects the park or litter, they get a fine. Don't talk, just act. Don't say, just show. Don't promise, just prove. Think global, act local. Globally, 91% of the world's population is exposed to unhealthy levels of pollution. Three million children under the age of five die annually due to the environmental change in circumstances. More than 1.2 trillion gallons of untreated sewage, stormwater and industrial waste gets dumped into the US waters. Hello, my name is Luna and I think the most important thing we should all work together to do is reduce the amount of waste we produce. Keep going, you can't stop now. Look how far you have come. Wow. Each year, around 7 million deaths are due to the exposure from both indoor and outdoor pollution.